I've been working at NIST International School now for a couple of weeks, and I was really excited to notice that they're using Gmail as their email client. It's a really powerful way to manage your emails. So I'm going to show you the way that I structure and organize my emails. And you might want to pick up a few tips from the way that I structure my email. So you can see here, I've been working here for weeks now, and you can see I only have a few things in my inbox. That's because I always archive emails. If I click all mails, uh, sorry, all mail, you can scroll down and see that I have a lot of email here, over, not, over a thousand pages of email, but all that is in my inbox are just a few emails that I need to work on. So you can see up here are my unread emails, and these are the emails that come through to me, uh, brand new emails. Down here are my starred emails. My starred emails are emails that I don't need to follow up on, but I might need them for later and I don't want to lose them. So I don't archive these. And then down here, everything else is kind of my to-do list. You can see I don't have many labels. I have a follow-up label, a PD label, and a to-do label. And I label the emails according to what I need to do with them. And then it's visually and colorful right there in front of me. So I know the difference between what I need to do in my inbox. These were created really easily with labels. So you can create a label. And after you create a label, you can change the color of the label here. And then it adds that label to the front of the email and that color there for you to color code it for you. The way I have it split up here with my unread and starred and everything else, I did in my settings over here. So if I go to settings and inbox, you can see I've split it up into sections here. So you can see the different settings I have here to get that system that I use. The really nice thing about archiving an email is let's say you open an email and you read it and when you're done, you archive that email and now it's out of your life and out of your way and you don't see it. For me, at least, it causes less anxiety, less stress. I know exactly what I need to get done when I look at my inbox. And it feels really good to get rid of those emails and out of your life. You can still find them. So if I wanted to find that email that I just archived, I can search for it and still find it. And it's also still in my all email. You can see it's in here somewhere, good luck. But it's not in my inbox and it's out of the way. So that's how I organize my email.